Hi, Samantha. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, and oracle card advisor. I don't, I start, always start my readings off like that, so I feel silly <laughs> if I don't say it. I don't know. It's a habit. So let's see if we can get a quickie, just a quickie. I will say he asked me to pull a card. These are my release cards, something that you need to release. Sometimes, once in a while, they'll ask this. So, the card I pulled was Surrender the Habit of People Pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. I know. That's what us women do. We do. And we... I think he believes that you're trying to overcompensate and you're wearing yourself out. You... You have to go take that bubble bath. You have to go shut the bathroom door and take that break or hide from everybody for a few minutes or go sit in your car somewhere, anything, just to get it. Do something for you. Get some peace for you because when you deplete yourself, you run out of energy to help everybody else. So he thinks you're, over, you're overdoing it. He doesn't want you worn out. <clears throat> I didn't really get, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> somebody in your, now I wasn't doing this before I started this, <clears throat> so somebody in your family having this problem, I didn't really tune in before I started, which I should have, so I didn't waste time. Let's see if I can. This is my right side. I know some of these videos that I do, they look backwards. He's over here. He's kind of knelt down. Can't tell what he's doing yet. He's still a little down. I can't tell what he's doing. I can't tell if he's cross-legged. Or just squatted down on his knees and sitting on his feet, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's like that. Kind of have to make it clear. He's, I can't see what he's doing. But I always let them run the show. They know what we need. He's, he's doing something on the floor in front of him. Maybe putting a puzzle together, but it looks more like cloth. It looks like cloth. Almost like a quilt, but it's little. It's little. Maybe like a pillow, more, more like the size of a pillow. He's really, he's really touching this. He's, at first I thought he was making it, putting it together, but I think he's just touching this. Did you have, did you have a pillow made like a, a lot of people do out of maybe one of his shirts or something? Because he's really, he's really liking this. He's really intent on having, he's, except he's down on the, down on the floor. See if he'll tell me what he's been doing around your house or something lately. Now I'm getting a really, really high pitch to my left ear. Usually that's my guides or angels or something trying to get my attention when it gets that shrieking. But he might be doing that. So if you get that, just it's to get your attention. It's not. It's not like the ringing in the ears, like my tinnitus. It's high pitch shriek. Thick. and to try to get get your attention so if you hear that in just one of your ears pay attention to something going on around you something something that you're missing some sign or something I don't know what it's going to be um,
it's not being real peppy. I'm trying to get him to tell me some exact details. He says, over here, over there, over here. Over. He was singing a song, over here, over there. I think it's an old army song, like I'm going to say like back in the 50s. Uh, armies, something military. But he was singing that, and then he was like over here, and then he was over there, and then he's over here. So he's all around. He's showing that he's just j flitting around, jumping everywhere. Something about a car. He's talking about your car. He's pointing at the radio. He's pointing at the radio in your car. Tell her to listen. Not every song she'll know, she'll know, she'll know. Tell her what I do, what, what I do. Okay, I don't know if I told you this before. Um, like when I go to the cemetery, to Bob's, way before I get there, way, way, I don't, I don't wait till I get there. I give it plenty of time so they can manipulate or whatever it works. And I ask for first song on the radio when I come up out of the cemetery to be from him to me. So sometimes, you know, I'll be down there trimming or whatever. And I feel like I got to go. I got to go. I got to go right now because it's that pull. It's that, you know, when the time is right. And if nothing else, if you feel that pull, if you get to where you can feel that, just go up there and turn the radio on and there'll be a message for you. Or I do it. Sometimes I do it other places, different times. I give them plenty of time. I say, this is what I'm going to want at this exact spot. And I have a few other places I do this. Yeah. And then you just set that intention. Oh, crap. I don't know what's talking. Hang on. Let me shut up something. Some, there's some video or something. I don't. Oh, stop. Sorry, I don't know how that got on there. Oh, I should have looked closer. Darn it. I should have looked closer because it was probably on there for a reason. Oh. Dang it. See? There was something on there. I could see somebody riding a bike or something. Darn. And there was a kid with a helmet on. There was like four or five different pictures on whatever that thing was. It just popped up. Let me see if I, let me see. I think I just got rid of it though. No, it's gone. I'm getting the strong feeling that what I saw in one of those pictures real quick when I wasn't smart enough to pay attention was skateboarding. So you know what that means, Josh. So he's telling you that he's connected with Josh. I want to see what he's going to say about Christmas. If he's going to tell me, I can't make him. He's shown me a table that's set really fancy. I don't know if you guys do that. That's something my mom would do. We don't. We just have a buffet type thing, you know, and sit down with plates on our lap. He's showing me a table that has got the pretty decorations and the fancy dishes and the napkins and the place for everybody. Something about this table. It's a big centerpiece type thing on it. Shouldn't be doubting him. He's showing this for a reason. He's showing himself sitting down at this table. And there's a room, I mean, it, this is a big, long table. And this may not be an exact table. She will be sitting at it Christmas. 
But what he's shown is he's going to be there. I don't know if you will feel like it or where you're going to have your dinner at. But uh, sometimes people set a place for them because they will be there. Something about drinking water at this function. Don't know why. I don't know, he's kind of he's kind of flipping around. He's shown himself in his ball uniform with his hard hat on, which I have a picture of. Swings a bat and says home run. singing all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. He's just throwing things out there so as he says them I'm just going to throw them out. I'm not sure where he's going with this. I'm going to let him lead the way. Now he's showing you and then he showed your mom. But it was both the same picture, but it's about both of you putting a blanket around you, sitting in the chair, getting all warm and snuggly. And he wants to wrap the blanket around you a little, a little tighter, a little warmer. Make he's, he's around you. He's trying to He's trying to bring you some peace. He's trying to make you more comfortable. He's trying to help. Now he's showing me shuffling feet. Okay, so it's it's not like walking. It's like sliding your feet. Shuffle, that kind of shuffle when you walk. We you slide your feet. You either have or you're going to hear that. He's trying to he's trying to give me some other sound. I don't even know if you have. My mom has crystal water glasses. This doesn't mean that you have to have a crystal water glass, but just imagine the sound of a crystal water glass and you take a spoon and you ding, 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 ding against the side of it, against this glass. You're going to hear that. And he's showing it at this fancy Christmas table. So keep your ears open your Christmas dinner and now he's and now he's just flitting around like a oh I know what he's doing pictures pictures on Christmas take a bunch and I always say take a hundred pictures you can always delete them but you can never get that moment back take a bunch because in those pictures you're gonna see orbs you're going to see orbs. So I don't know if you know about orbs you don't usually see with the naked eye, but when you go back and look at pictures, you'll see that spot or that streak or even try videos. Try videos because sometimes you'll get it in a video where you'll see it. That's what he's doing because he's just, he's like, he's like a streak all over the place. So, ooh, that's going to be cool. Let me know. I usually forget to go back and look. I'm trying to see if he's putting one in here now, but I wouldn't be able to tell until probably when we 
usually don't see it with your naked eye. I have seen it with my naked eye, but anyway, enough of that. So he put up big block letters that say, I love you. Please don't be sad. Please don't be sad. Please. It can't be undone, but it can be it can be made better for others. It can be made better for others. And I'm sure he's talking about others his age contemplating taking their own life. Look what we stirred up. And he puffs his chest out. He is proud. He's going to make me cry. I always cry when I do Tanner. He's puffing his chest out. He's very proud that because of him that there is so much going on in our town to try to help. He says they're still doing it all wrong, but they're trying. At least they're making an attempt. He says you can't fix stupid. I'm not sure who he's talking about there. Something, something in his name, something in his honor. Something, something like a memorial, something, something that's going to happen. It's going to have his name tied to it. Something that's going to, he's going to make me cry again. Something that's going to make a difference. Something that's being worked on. Like, like a scholarship type thing, but I don't feel like it's a scholarship. I don't, he's not saying exactly. Something that's going to be big and have his name tied to it. He's acknowledging he knows this and he's proud of it. He says they're ma they are making things better. It's too bad it takes something like this to get their attention. Now he's mentioning a big hairy dog. Kind of a brownish, maybe with a little black on it, but with kind of shaggy fur. Big, big old dog. Trying to see if this dog has passed. I'm not, I'm not getting it clear. First I thought this dog had passed, but I'm not absolutely sure. So if this dog has passed, he's got the dog with him and he wants whoever own this dog to know that he has this dog. If this dog is here, he's playing with this dog. Animals, if you guys have a cat, and have a cat, like my Yorkie, I have two Yorkies, one super, super psychic. She's bored with it now. She doesn't do it very often, but she'll sit there and she'll actually, you know, watch them. Or if one comes in really close and strong, she used to stand in front of me and spin around and look at me and cry like, what is this mom? Is it going to hurt you? Animals are very sensitive. So watch the animals look at where they're looking. Or if the cat all of a sudden puffs up and goes, Rawr! that's what he showed me. Rawr! It could, uh, <laughs> 
he could be picking on it. So whoever has the cat, and he's not showing me which house, he's showing me this cat like its fur is going to stand straight out all over the whole cat. And it's going to jump it because he's going to pinch it. He's going to give it a little pink. So when that happens, just kind of look around and see if maybe at that very instant you might hear something on the TV, the radio. You might see something flash on the computer, on your phone. Pay attention because usually, not always, but a lot of times when one thing happens, it gets your attention. There'll be two things. Like, um, I'll be driving down the road and I'll go, okay, is this song for me from you? And a truck just like his will drive by, like the one he had. So the, a lot of times there's two things. And it's your confirmation. So he's definitely going to mess with the cat. He said he's he's sorry. He did not mean to bring this much hurt. That was not his intention at all. I was selfish. He's not saying anything. I know he didn't just leave, he just got quiet. Okay, now he came in really, really strong, and just, and I know I'm sen I'm sensitive, but you might be able to feel this. It's almost like my body just filled up, almost like outside my body. Not, I don't mean outside my body, but it's like I filled up this far out, like. Whew. So you might feel something like that, and and it's a sense of peace too. But it's even, it's even more than just your body. It's, it's like my body was growing, growing, growing. And want to take a deep breath and feel that peace. And he's trying to he's trying to fill your body like that and bring you that peace. Now he's showing you in the bedroom and you're having trouble finding one of your slippers. Is he hiding your slippers or your socks? He's giggling. He says, I can't do anything. I can't do anything mean to mom, <laughs> but he's still giggling. Because I love you. I'm sorry I did this to you. He kneels down beside you and his dad when you go to the cemetery. He like squats down. Kind of looking at the grave like, I can't believe I'm in there because I'm right here. I'm not there. I'm here right beside you. And yet I can't get you to see me.
So this is my left side and he's trying to touch you and his dad somewhere in this area. Because some people feel it like a tingling, like a bug crawling, like a, it's, it'll be a little bit of energy. It won't feel like a hand touching you like this. Or maybe just a little pressure. It could be warmth or coolness. Just It'll just be in one spot. I, I can't tell exactly. I don't know how you're going to feel it. Okay, he's he's wiggling his fingers, so I think it's going to be like a ting, like a, like a, like an itchy bug crawling feeling, which I get a lot when they touch me. He says creepy crawler. It's going to feel like a creepy crawler on you, and you're going to look, and there's nothing there. Just when he does that, acknowledge it. Let him know that you understand it's from him and ask him to bring you more. Once you start, once you start getting the hang of it, you'll start getting more. You'll, you'll, you'll realize you're getting a lot. You just don't know it yet. He's ready to ride. I don't know what he means. He's ready to ride. He showed me a bicycle, which that thing that popped up made that noise that I was too dumb to actually look at, because it happened for a reason, there was a bicycle in it. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I hear Harry Fairy. Harry Fairy. might have to think outside the box on that one. Maybe it's close to somebody's name or nickname. I don't always get names. I don't usually get names. Exact. And behind him, and it seems like they've done this before, grandma and grandpa, but they're way in the back. They do not feel like, they, they just made their presence known that they're right behind him but they don't want to come forward because they feel like Tanner is more important. And grandma did, grandma walked forward, she stood right beside him and she said, I just want to step forward and say, I love you, Merry Christmas. Dad's in the back kind of like, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and she looks like she's playing. It looks like she's playing a ukulele. I don't know if you would understand that or not, but it, the instrument's kind of dim. She's kind of holding it. She's... And then this huge, gorgeous angel appears. And the light gets really, really bright off this angel. I'm mesmerized. And there's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music.
Wow, it's, a, it's almost blinding my eyes. The angel came to let you know that they are in a good place. I know sometimes people think that if you kill yourself, you go to a dark place. Absolutely not. All is forgiven. All is loved. Doesn't matter what you do down here on this earth. You are still not going to be judged. You are still going to go to a greater place where you will be loved and cleansed and healed and forgiven. And then I see no guilt. It's all part of the bigger picture. I'm always I'm always amazed because when I do readings, I just let them bring through what they need to, they think for the greater good of whoever's getting the reading. And they always, and I always think, oh, this is going to be bad. It's always awesome. Okay, they're waving goodbye. They kind of want to even tell me something more about Christmas Day. So, okay, just remember, take lots of pictures and go back through them. And you might have to put them on a computer or something because I know when I do them and I try to look through on my phone, you can't, you can't see the orbs on your little screen on your phone. Not usually. Maybe if one goes fast, like if you get one of those lines, I've got a picture that's, but it's a still picture that's really cool. It has a big long one coming down to one of my friends. So you might want to be able to download it on your computer. So think about that when you're taking the pictures so you can see it on a bigger screen. Now he came back here behind me. He's blowing you kisses. He says, scruff up the other ones for me. <laughs> he says that in a loving way. Give him a little noogie. I love you all. Tell daddy needs to let go of the guilt. It's mine. I own it. Let me have it. Because I've said that before. And with that, he's going to leave. Oh, he gave me a little kiss on the back of the head first, and he said, thank you. And, he's pat and he patted me on the head. Don't mess my hair up. <laughs> okay, I hope this helps a little bit. So watch for that stuff. Listen for the tinkling of the glass and um, whatever else I said. And he's going to be there. If it's if it doesn't make it too sad, set him a plate. Put a glass glass there, though. <laughs> Much love to you. Don't be afraid to get a hold of me anytime. I uh, got into this got into this uh, business because of somebody I love killing themselves. So I know I know how it works. Don't be afraid to get a hold of me. Much love to you guys. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Have a great new year. See y'all later.